Hi there, everyone. My name's Sarah. I'm your TA for um, Anatomy and Physiology Lab 2. I just wanted to send a last video to kind of wrap up the semester and to make some uh, announcements. So first and foremost, Quiz 3 is up. Thank you to everyone who emailed me and said that they still couldn't do it on their student side. Um, sometimes I set it to release and then I don't know what happens, but it doesn't release. So uh, I always appreciate it when you guys email me. I really only had like one student reach out to me and say that they couldn't see the um, quiz still. So uh, it's important that if you guys can't see something on your end, go ahead and bombard my email so that way I can fix the issues with the settings. And usually I just have to remake the quiz and then like post it again. So uh, it seems like it's up. Uh, on and you should be able to see it now. I have made quiz four already. Uh, you can't see it yet because it's set to be released on the day accordingly with the with the syllabus. I have uh, made your final exam already as well. You can't see that yet because um, it's already set with the settings to be released on the day of the syllabus. Um, one important thing about the final exam is that you guys have to do it in the time frame according to the syllabus. Everything else I've been kind of lenient on um, as far as Blackboard stuff goes. Um, everything with Pearson I don't have control over. I cannot reopen any of those homework assignments or anything like that, so please be keeping up with those. But anything with Blackboard, uh, you, could, you see me pushing dates and things like that every once in a while. Um, but the final exam, I cannot stress this enough, you will have to finish it. It opens May 3rd and then it closes um, that Sunday. So I think it's May 9th at end of day, which is 11.59 p.m. So you have to finish it by then because on Monday I turn in grades. So I won't have any time to go back and kind of reopen anything or anything like that. And speaking of which, there's been an issue with the midterms. Um, why you may not have seen your grade yet. A lot of students did not take the midterm. I'm not sure why. I'm going to chalk it up to technical issues. I'm going to reopen the midterm today or tonight. It, it'll reopen at midnight and you'll have the weekend to do it. So please, um, if you were one of the students who did not take the midterm, one of the ways you can tell is if you took the midterm, then what you should see in your grade contents is like a little yellow exclamation point saying like it needs to be graded. If you didn't take a midterm, you won't even see that. It'll just be a dashed line, like you absolutely missed the midterm. And if I have students like that, then I cannot put in grades for the other people because um, the answers will be released. So. Unfortunately, if um, you don't see your grade and says that it needs to be graded, it's because I'm waiting on some few students who have asked me uh, to reopen the midterm. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and since it is so many students that had this issue. Um, so it'll be open throughout the weekend. If you were one of those students that took it already and did your thing, uh, maybe take advantage of it. Maybe go in, double check your answers. Again, you had two attempts to do the midterm. I saw a lot of students only take advantage of one attempt, but if that's where you felt comfortable and you thought you got all the uh, answers correctly, that's all, you know, all power to you. But you do have a, t a second attempt, so you should be able, once I reopen it, you should be able to go in and still take a second attempt if you feel like you want to, you, you want to have done that. Um, that's not an issue with me. Um, and that kind of wraps up the semester. So I'm going to reopen the midterm for those that missed it. I'm going to um, give you guys a little extra time with the quiz three. And let me know if you have any issues with quiz three. I'm sorry about that, guys. And um, quiz four is ready to go. The final exam is ready to go. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything gets put out um, correctly according to Blackboard. And everything else is through Pearson, so make sure you're keeping up with the homeworks. 
If you feel like you are struggling in this class, please reach out to me. There are two issues that I feel like I could help you guys in, or two areas that I can help you guys in. One is the final exam. If you guys want to do a review via Zoom meetings, I'm more than willing to do that with you guys. I can set up a Zoom meeting and students can join in and we can discuss the final exam and where I feel like, um, or what chapters we're gonna go over, what questions you should know and um, kind of like what, what topics you should cover. Speaking of which, I'll just go ahead and give a hint right now. Um, the questions are from chapter 17, chapter 23, and chapter 25. I, you know, I, I really like those chapters. I forget what 17 is, um, but 23 is visual, I want to say, and then the other one is hearing. Oh, and 17 is parts of the brain and things like that. So it all kind of connects, and those are Great MCAT questions if you're going to med school, great um, questions for if you're a biology student and you're going into um, you know, upper division biology courses like neurodevelopmental um, courses or anything like that. So how the brain is developed and what these sensory organs are all about and how it all connects. So these are great topics and I focus the exam on those three chapters. Um, if you feel like you want to review, again, I'm more, more open to that. Let me know. If I don't get any emails, I'll make an announcement saying I didn't get really anyone saying that they want to review. So um, I won't do the review and, and just study chapter 17, 23, and 25. Again, for the final exam, you will have two attempts. You will have, I think I made it available for four hours. Um, the thing that is different about this final exam is that it, um, I made it where it's like the quizzes where you take your final exam via Blackboard. It's multiple choice. You click on which A, B, C, or D, which answer you'd like, and then it grades right away for you. Um, as compared to the midterm, you had a box and you wrote out all your answers. That takes time for me to grade. And, um, but I wanted to do it that way because for the midterm, I was trying out something where I wanted to see if you guys liked that kind of platform because it was a Word document, right? So you can go into the midterm for your first attempt, look at the Word document, really look over your questions, really think about your answers, um, kind of look at the book a little bit and any, and get, um, any kind of resources or anything like that to help you out with that. And then go back in for your second attempt and then write out your final answers. Um, but I saw that a lot of people didn't even bother with the second attempt. So I chose the typical Blackboard platform where you have multiple choice for the, your final exam. So it won't be like filling out your answers the way it was for your midterm for the final. Um, and if you have any questions about that, go ahead and email me. And so that wraps up everything. Make sure you, um, so that was one way, sorry, that was one area that I could help you guys out is a final exam review. The second way I can help you guys out, and this is for people who are really struggling. If you have an A in the class, you're good to go. I appreciate you guys so much. That means you were on it. You really tested yourself like I asked you guys to in the beginning of the class and push yourself to learn anatomy. Um, I know online platforms and online courses aren't always the easiest and you push yourself to learn anatomy, you got an A. If you have a B in the class and you're kind of wanting an A, if you have a C and you want a B or something like that, go ahead and email me these issues. Um, I'm not guaranteeing anything, but I will look over your grades, see where you were lacking. Maybe you're missing some quiz. I believe one of the quiz gets dropped. Maybe that'll help you boost up your, uh, your, um, your overall grade, right? And, um, you know, we'll look over your, your grades and see where you were struggling with so that way we can figure out what we can do. But the catch of this is that if you plan on doing so, I would say that you wrap up those last Pearson, um, you know, those last Pearson assignments uh, quickly and you 
you come out to me and say, you email me and say, look, I finished up my assignments. I'm pretty sure I'll do good on the last quizzes and I'll do good on the final, but I know I'm still struggling in the class. What can I do? And that's when we'll look it up. And so you'll have to do that before May 1st is what I'm going to say. So go ahead and look at where you stand after May 1st. May 3rd, the latest, right? And we can discuss your grades. So um, that wraps up this semester. I hope you guys have fun learning about anatomy. I always wish you guys the best in your future. So you'll never know what you wind up as. Um, if you guys wind up doctors or whatever, it's a great class to look on, um, back on and as an undergrad and think, wow, I, I took some great anatomy classes and I learned a lot. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. And thanks for being great students. Bye-bye now.